So uh, Operation Triple Beam, Roll and Thunder is a group effort between approximately 20 different law enforcement agencies. Um, we worked on several felony, violent, uh, fugitive warrants that were here in the metro. And basically for 60 days, uh, several teams and these law enforcement officers that were participating worked together to go apprehend these fugitives. And, I mean, I, I, I guess it can't be stressed enough. These aren't like, you know, small-time warrants. I mean, these are not good <laughs> Good people, essentially. Correct. Yeah, the, the, the fugitives that we were after are going to be any kind of warrants that are issued that have violence um, and gang-related crimes. Um, it's the worst of the worst kind of warrants. Now, uh, it's just a really big effort that y'all did. I mean, 20-something agencies. That's, and that's not, doesn't seem typical for what y'all have done in the past, at least. No, so uh, Operation uh, Triple Beam, the Rolling Thunder, was the biggest uh, OTB that we've had here in the metro with the, all the agencies that participated in it and the officers that helped us with it. We put out numerous teams every single day. Um, it's a 60-day operation, and there were well over 400 fugitives that were apprehended then. I mean, that's got to be some effectiveness working with uh, fellow law enforcement from all different areas, bringing their expertise, bringing their resources. That's got to be a lot more effective. Yes, sir. Everyone, and that's kind of the group effort that helps out is we have everyone from the analysts starting the packet and all their resources on looking and being able to find someone. And then we bring it to the teams who actually go out there and do the hunting down and they find and apprehend these guys as, as safe as you can. But everyone has different assets that they bring to the table and when, when everyone comes together, it's, it's a force. In comparison to years prior, just you have all of these extra resources, all this camaraderie, all this working together. Um, I mean, just, I know we can't talk specifics, but in terms of, of how good a, how effective it was, I guess, talk on that. So Operation Triple Beam, the last one we did in Oklahoma City was in 2020. We arrested 262 fugitives, and that was in 60 days. Um, again, in comparison, Houston just did an Operation Triple Beam prior to ours um, this summer, just right before ours, and they arrested approximately 360 fugitives. And we still don't have all our numbers, but we're well over 400 for our 60 days. And again, spelling it out for people that are, are um, maybe have a little trouble seeing sometimes the point. Um, I mean, just speaking to how operations like this go for community safety. Yeah, so again, the, the warrants um, that we're after, the fugitives that we're after, it's the worst of the worst. So these are not gonna be you know, your property crimes or anything. These are people crimes. These have victims. These, you know, we're out here to try and bring justice to both the victim side and the suspect side as safe and fast as we can. The warrants don't go away. So the warrants will always be there. Um, and we, we find everyone eventually. So it's just a matter of when and how we do it and as fast and safe as we can as possible. What is, what is the big takeaway people need to know about this and how much you'll do? Just all the hard work that went into this, um, you know, there's, again, from the very beginning of this, the analysts working up these packets, these fugitives, starting from scratch, trying to figure out where these people are that don't want to be found, and then coming out to these teams working 16-hour days for, for multiple weeks in a row out here in this heat in the summer, and they're out here trying to make it safer, uh, you know, a safer community for all of us to be here. And you know the, the, the folks that have the warrants, they're obviously not taking care of them. They're not coming in and turning themselves in or anything like that. So when, when the teams go out there and have to arrest them and we get those people off the streets and bring them to justice you know, with the court system, then that helps out the community too because the violence will go down because they're no longer on the streets.